Picture this, a young woman, fresh out of college, goes for her first real job interview. She's nervous, unsure, but she's prepared. She knows the company, the role, she's practiced her responses, and she's ready. This isn't just a hypothetical scenario, it's a real-life story, one that emphasizes the importance of preparation and the impact it can have on the outcome of an interview. This young woman was like many of us, stepping into the unknown, filled with a mix of excitement and apprehension. She had just graduated and the world was her oyster, but the first hurdle she had to cross was the job interview. The process can be daunting, we all know that, but she didn't let her nerves get the best of her. She decided to arm herself with the best weapon she had, preparation. She started by researching the company, understanding its mission, its values, and its culture. She read about its history, its achievements, and its goals. She delved into the role she was applying for, understanding the responsibilities, the expectations, and the skills needed. She wasn't just reading, she was absorbing, internalizing, and connecting. Then came the practice. She anticipated the questions, crafted her responses, and rehearsed them until they flowed naturally. She didn't memorize, she understood. She knew that a well-rehearsed answer beats a spontaneous one any day. She practiced nonverbal communication, maintaining eye contact and positive body language. She didn't leave anything to chance. And on the day of the interview, she was ready. She walked in, not with arrogance, but with a quiet confidence. She was nervous, yes, but she was also prepared. She answered the questions, not just with facts, but with stories and examples. She connected with the interviewers, not just professionally, but personally. She showed them not just her qualifications, but her passion, her drive, and her potential. And guess what? She got the job. Not just because she was qualified, but because she was prepared. You see, friends, the secret to acing any job interview lies in your preparation. It's like going on a journey. Would you set off without knowing your destination or the best route to get there? Of course not. So why would you walk into an interview without being fully prepared? Now let's dig a little deeper. Preparation is a three-pronged approach. First, you need to research the company, understand its mission, its values, its culture, understand what makes it tick. This helps you align your own values and goals with those of the company, showing the interviewer that you're not just a fit for the role, but for the company as a whole. Secondly, you need to research the role. Get to grips with the job requirements, the responsibilities, and the challenges. This will help you understand exactly what the company is looking for in its ideal candidate. It will also help you tailor your responses during the interview to highlight how your skills and experiences meet these requirements. But don't stop there. Go one step further and prepare answers to potential questions. This is where the magic happens. By preparing answers to common interview questions, you can ensure that your responses are concise, relevant, and impressive. You can highlight your achievements, your skills, and your potential, all while demonstrating your understanding of the role and the company. Finally, and perhaps most importantly, practice makes perfect. Conducting mock interviews, either with a friend, a mentor, or even in front of the mirror, can help you refine your responses, work on your nonverbal communication, and build your confidence. It allows you to prepare for the unexpected, to handle curveball questions with grace, and to present yourself in the best possible light. Remember, the more you know about the company and the role, the better you can tailor your responses to demonstrate that you are the best fit. But it's not just about what you know, it's also about how you present yourself. You see, in an interview, your nonverbal communication can often speak louder than your words. It's the unspoken dialogue that tells your interviewer a lot about your character, your confidence, and your suitability for the role. Let's talk about eye contact first. It's an essential part of communication, and it's no different in an interview setting. Maintaining steady eye contact shows that you're engaged, attentive, and respectful. It's a subtle way of saying, I'm here, I'm listening, and I'm interested in what you're saying. But remember, there's a fine line between steady eye contact and a stare down. So keep it natural and break away occasionally. Next up is the handshake. A firm handshake can set the tone for the rest of the interview. It's a chance to make a strong first impression. It's not about proving how strong your grip is, but rather about demonstrating your enthusiasm and confidence. A firm but not crushing handshake can send a clear message I'm glad to be here and I'm ready for this. And then there's the confidence. It's your most powerful accessory. But remember, confidence is not about boasting or arrogance. It's about being comfortable with who you are, knowing your worth, and believing in your abilities. It's about walking into that interview room with your head held high, not because you think you're better than anyone else, 
but because you know you have something valuable to offer. Your confidence can be seen in your posture, heard in your voice, and felt in your presence. It's not something you wear, it's something you embody. And trust me, interviewers can sense it. They can tell when a candidate is genuinely confident and when they're just putting on a show. Confidence is contagious. It can inspire others to believe in you too. So don't underestimate its power. Use it to your advantage. Because at the end of the day, your skills and qualifications are important, but it's your confidence that can truly set you apart. Your confidence speaks volumes before you even say a word. So walk into that interview room like you own it. Now, let's talk about the actual interview. Your answers can make or break your chances. You see, an impressive answer isn't about using big words or displaying an encyclopedic knowledge of the industry. It's about showcasing how you can bring value to the company and team. So, how do you craft these impressive answers? The key is to be specific. Don't just say you're a good team player, demonstrate it with an example. Maybe you collaborated on a project that exceeded expectations, or you took the initiative to resolve a conflict within your team. These stories provide concrete evidence of your skills and help you stand out from a sea of generic answers. Now let's talk about behavioral interviews. These types of questions are designed to gauge how you handle specific situations. They usually start with, tell me about a time when, or can you give an example of, the trick here is to use the STAR method. That is, describe the situation, the task you were faced with, the action you took, and the result of that action. This method helps you provide a structured and comprehensive answer while showcasing your problem-solving skills. And remember, your answers should always reflect the values and needs of the company you're interviewing for. Research is your best friend here. Understand the company's mission, its culture, and the specific role you're applying for. Tailor your answers to show not only how you'd fit in, but also how you'd contribute and add value. And finally, practice. Practice your answers to common questions. Practice your stories. Practice until you feel confident and prepared. Because confidence coupled with well-crafted specific answers is what will truly impress your potential employer. Impressive answers aren't about showing off, they're about showing your potential employer how you can add value to their team. So there you have it, the secret to acing your job interview, preparation, confidence, and impressive answers. As we approach the end of our discussion, let's take a moment to reflect on the key points we've covered. Remember, there is no magic spell to ensure success in a job interview. It's all about putting in the effort, time, and thought into preparing for it. The more you prepare, the more confident you will feel, and the better your performance will be. Confidence is not something you can fake. It comes from knowing your stuff, understanding the company and the job position, and believing in your ability to do the job. It's about walking into that interview room, looking the interviewer in the eye and saying, I got this. And then there are your answers. No matter how well you've prepared or how confident you feel, if your answers don't impress the interviewer, it's game over. So do your homework. Understand the type of questions that might be asked and practice your answers. Remember, it's not just about what you say, but how you say it. Wrap up your answers in a way that showcases your skills, your experiences, and your passion for the job. Make it clear that you are not just looking for any job, but this job at this company. Show them that you are the perfect fit. But don't just take our word for it. Try these strategies for yourself. See how they transform your interview experience and increase your chances of landing the job. Now go out there, ace that interview, and get that job. And don't forget to subscribe to Online with Teresa for more tips and strategies to help you navigate your career journey. Until next time, keep reaching for the stars.